Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a doll review on Scalita Calvarez, daughter of Los Escalitos from the Scara City of Frights series. So I'm going to start off by showing you the box, what's on the box. So I'm going to move her out of the way. Okay. Okay, so, um, first of all, the box, the box art on the inside is really, really cool. It has a, um, twisted, a twisted up Eiffel Tower and some other things, I guess, that are in Paris, I'm, I'm guessing, um, so, and on the bottom, it says Scaris City of Frights with the Twisted Eiffel Tower, but it has Scalita's picture, and then the normal Monster High thing on the side of the box, and the Galil logo, and at the top, and you can tell that they, they, they're, they're little skullettes wearing um, French hats. I think they're called Bourrées. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. And um, there is a purplish blue, I mean purplish pink spiderweb swirl thing on here. Even though it looks blue on camera, it's actually pinkish purple. So there's the, there's the front of the box. It also has those spiderweb things on the bottom. The... Yeah, on the bottom too. The, and it has those on the side. And as for the back, it has all the scarest dolls. It has all the scarest dolls that they are selling. Um, sorry, I'm sniffling so much, but um, and it has the bio of Los es I mean, Scalita Calvarez. Um, and it tells all about her and all that stuff. But I'm not gonna read it because too long so there's that now for the top okay so um she has sorry i need to adjust this she has black hair with two um orange highlights in the front sorry they're like a lighter bright orange even though they look really dark on camera, they're kind of, they're really, really light and bright. And she has, um, swirled out eyebrows that are brown. And, um, <coughs> sorry. And she has blue surrounding her eyes with some black dots and right here. And right here and right here, same for the other side, ha are these little flower-looking things. Up close, they look like flowers. So, yeah. And she's got blue um, eyeshadow. Like a bright blue eyeshadow one. Oops, sorry. And her lips are a softer, a softish pink. And she's got stitches coming out from her mouth. Oh, gosh, sorry. Um, And... She has lines on her, the side of her head and dots here. Same for the other side. And she doesn't have earrings, so. Oops. Um, coming off the stand. Okay. Back to uh, back, back to the doll. Um, okay, so. She, her necklace is orange. With a skull uh, with some decoration in the middle. It, it's really, really hard to see. Because it's so detailed and small. And her shirt is black. With these little designs on them. And there's a rose right here. With a skull in the middle of it. And one weird thing about it is that one side has pink ribbon and the other has purple. I don't, I don't know if that was an accident or on purpose, but... Huh. And her belt is a bronze copper color with a bunch of little imprinted designs on it. And her dress is like a fiesta dress, I would say, because they're really bright colors. And then like they're like the Day of the Dead things that they hang up everywhere. So they ha it has, some of them have bats on them, spider webs, um, like trickling blood and 
um, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm not going to say it all because it'll make it make this video really long. Um, and oh, and her bracelet matches her belt. It's pretty much the same. And her shoes are super cool. Um, I think I think they're really pretty. Um, they are bright green. Sorry, I'm trying to get this camera to focus. Um, they're bright green. And they have it's a really pretty design here. And on the side, the heel, lots of other pretty designs too. And what's really cool about Skeleta is that she, her, she's made of bones. I'm not getting made of bones. And, um, but the thing about her legs is they don't bend very much. They bend about that much, and then they don't go anymore. Okay, so, and one more thing, her hands. Super cool. And her back. It's amazing looking. Um, let me pull her hair. Look, right there. So cool. Cool. <laughs> I just like almost burped or something. I just ate lunch. Um. So yeah, there's her Skelita. Um. Then um, here is her suitcase. <clears throat> her suitcase is really cool. It has a rose here, some squiggles following it and a skull in the center with the details painted on with white well with the details on with white I'm not sure if they're painted or not and um, another rose at the bottom and there's squiggles everywhere <laughs> so the the um, skull has a rose it's hard to see but you can't really tell because it's not painted accurate accurately and a really cool thing is that there's two little tiny roses right there, and it'll open. And then the back, this adjusts, and this looks like a spine. I think it, they did that on purpose. This looks kind of like a spine. There's two tiny, tiny wheels with the um, MH logo right there. So there's your suitcase. And, <clears throat> lastly, um, her sketchbook, so her, this is her sketchbook, has a picture of her and her family and her little cute adorable little dog, I think, surrounded with bright colored flowers, and um, it says, sketchbook belongs to Skolita Calvarez, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, sorry, I'm not, um, then on the inside it's got words on the front, first page, writing on the first page, and... Then it has this really cool drawing. I guess she likes to be a fashion. She would, wants to be a fashion designer or something. Cause this is they're really good drawings. And more words. And then on the very very back, um, has this really pretty picture of her. I guess it, with a high ponytail, and um, surrounded with flowers and flowers on her hair. And it's signed Skelita, and it has the MH logo, and same for here. So, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching my doll review. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up, and if you're into crafting, go to my other channel. I'll put a link in the description box below. So, so thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.